Hi everyone and welcome back to my little cooking vlog that we've got going. Uh, I thought this week we'd just make a soup. Uh, so we're going to make minestrone soup. Nice healthy hearty meal. Um, the veg that you want to put in it you can choose yourself but today I'm going to put in it uh, which I'll show you. So what you're going to need for this recipe is some celery, some carrots, potatoes, onion, red or white, it doesn't matter, some garlic, tin potatoes, <coughs> some cannellini beans, I'm putting a bit of cabbage in this one, some tomato puree, spaghetti, and an optional extra is, uh, I've got some smoked bacon there, and some of the, the hard parmesan cheese. Okay, so first things first is to prep all the veg. So that's the veg all prepped ready. I just now need to chop them up. I'm going to do them quite chunky. So your carrots, well you can do them whatever size you like, but these are quite chunky these ones. Aren't they? You can eat that one. Same with your celery. So there we've got the carrots, the celery, the onions, the potatoes. We just need to fry that off now for about five minutes or so. Once they're in the pan, I'll uh, just chop up my garlic and I'll get that in as well. Right, so a bit of oil in the pan. And then you go with your veg. Okay, so that's the garlic going in. And I'll just get the cabbage in as well, as well as the garlic. So it's quite a full on veggie soup really isn't it, it's, uh, and chunky this one. And like I say you can just swap your veggies around, you can put some courgettes in it or you can put some swede in it and just you know just whatever you like really. Right so these veggies have now had a real good five minutes and starting to soften down. I'm just going to put in now the tin tomatoes. Those in. A good squirt of uh, tomato puree. And then some water. I'll probably need a bit more than that. And then my vegetable stock, that's going in. Definitely needs a bit more water, does that? Ok, 
Okay, so in there we've fried off the veg uh, for five minutes or so, and then we've just added the tomatoes, tin tomatoes, the tomato puree, and the vegetable stock. So now I'm just going to bring that to the boil, and then uh, let that simmer for about 10 minutes. And whilst that's doing that, I'm just going to prepare the bacon. Right, so I've just got a bit of uh, smoked bacon here. Smoked, or you don't even have to ha use the bacon. Just, uh, I just think it's nice to put on top of the soup once it's, you know, once you've dished it up. Actually, it might be easier just to fry these. It's easier to chop up, isn't it, once it's fried, isn't it? So we just want these really well done, so they're nice and crispy. I'll just I'll chuck it all in and. I must stop saying that, chuck it all in. But anyway, chuck it all in and fry it up. Right, so whilst the bacon is cooking away, <coughs> I'm just going to chop this up ready, because I'll just sprinkle a bit of uh, coriander on top of the, the soup when I serve it up. Just gives it, just makes it look a bit nicer, doesn't it? And a bit more plain. Do that. Right, and we'll prepare the, the spaghetti. This is so cool, I love this trick. Right. Really nice clean tea towel, not one that you just drive the dog with or anything like that. Make the soup taste a bit odd. Nice and tight in your tea towel, and over the edge of your worktop, drag it down. And then you're left with little bits to go in your soup otherwise you have to stand there snapping it up and that gets a bit boring after a while unless you've got loads of kids like me and then they can all have a few strands each and we'll be done in no time so that's one lot then I'll get another lot ready for the soup right that's the bacon all nice and well, it's crispy enough for me so I'll just put that on the chopping board to cool down a minute Hot. Okay, okay. So all I'm going to do with the bacon now is just chop it up. Okay, so that's it. My two, what, two of my toppings that are going to go on top. Got the coriander, the bacon, and also some hard parmesan cheese to grate on the top as well. Right, so the soup's had a good, good 10 minutes. And now what we do is we add the spaghetti that you've uh, snapped up by hand or used me crafty trick, and the tin cannellini beans, just need to drain them. So they go in as well. Okay, give that another bit of a stir up. Lid back on, another 10 minutes. And then we are ready to serve. Put some more apple. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did you eat it or did you just sort of like throw it everywhere? Okay, so that's the soup. Had another 10 minutes and I'm pretty sure that'll be done. I'll just check the veg. Yeah. Yeah, lovely. Okay, so now it's just time to dish up. I've got my little helper here. Over in the background. There he is, look. Ah, she's come to help me. He's munching on an apple whilst he's waiting for his tea. Right there, big man. <laughs> right, let's get this dished up. Right, so. Let's be a little full. Uh, 
and on top sprinkle your bacon bit of coriander and there we are finished how good does that look you can um Make it vegetarian if you like, you know, skip the bacon. Just make sure you use um, a veg stock. Uh, and there we go. I will now shout them all in. Because I know they're all hungry and they've been shouting when turns tea ready, Dad. So I shall go and give them a shout. Oh, why not? Nice bit of crusty bread on the side. There we go. Anyway, hope you're enjoying uh, in making this yourselves. And uh, let me know how you get on. Thanks for watching. See you again next week.